Welcome to Tweet of the Week. I am joined today by one of our fabulous principals, Hannah Feldman, who is the principal of Yellow Springs Elementary School. And I have encouraged our viewers to follow our principals on Twitter because you will find out about amazing things that our students and our teachers do. But sometimes you will also find out about some of the crazy things that administrators are asked to do. And it falls under that other duties as assigned category. And so Hannah, you recently had a very unusual experience. And if people saw your tweet, I'm sure they are wondering, why would a principal do that? So you wanna talk about what happened to you and why? So uh, our school did race for education, it had just completed. And our PTA came to me and said, could we do some tiered incentives for the students. So if we raise $13,000, would you agree to be silly stringed? And so I said, sure. And that came and went. And we had um, our top sellers in e our top donations in each grade silly string me. And uh, we had a Google Meet Live, so the whole school got to watch. And then the next tier was at $17,000, can we duct tape you to a wall? Sure. So uh, the tweet you're referring to is when I was duct taped to a wall and each student who had participated in Race for Education up until that point got a foot of duct tape and got to individually come up and duct tape me to the wall. And then the entire school paraded by so everyone got an opportunity to see <laughs> me hanging there. Um, and then if we hit the $20,000 goal, would Dr. Swire, my assistant principal, and I sleep on the roof, which I'm excited and proud to say that they've actually surpassed that goal. And so Dr. Swire and I will be sleeping on the roof on Thursday and reading bedtime stories from the roof um, to our students on Google Meets. So you're doing this in collaboration with your PTA yes. as a way to raise money for the school and to encourage students and their families to participate in the fundraiser. So what does it feel like to be duct taped <laughs> to a wall? It was hot. Um, and I had a lot of people ask me if I'd gone to the bathroom first, which I hadn't actually considered, and so I'm glad they reminded me. Um, because I was up there about an hour and a half through the whole process. Um, the duct tape was hot and it was very tight against me so that I could stick properly to the wall. But I think the best part was seeing the students' excitement and laughter and, how are you, how are you gonna get down, Mrs. Feldman? You know, and um, I would joke back with them, oh, we didn't think about that. Uh, they kind of looked terrified and I said, no, they're, they're going to get me down. So, but there are still students asking me when they see me in the hallways, oh, um, how did they get you down? And I said, well, you know, they cut me down after everybody saw me. So it's <laughs> sweet to hear their concern too. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was very sweet. And you said that even now, you know, they walk past the wall and they remember. Yes. Yes. So that's the thing about doing these things is that, you know, our students are going to learn all of the curriculum they need to learn they're never probably gonna be able to pinpoint when they learned a certain thing, but they're going to remember those experiences in elementary school like this, that, that time we taped Mrs. Feldman to the wall. And so it's, it's, um, it's a privilege and an honor to be a part of that memory for these students. Well, and it's community building. Absolutely. Because as you said, you know, something the, the students could participate in, certainly the PTA is very grateful to you for supporting their efforts. And um, I did ask you who came up with these incentive <laughs> ideas, and you said it was the PTA, maybe inspired by some of their children, we yes. don't know. But again, that important part of building a school community, and you talked about the fact that even more so for you this year, because this is your first year mm -hmm. at the school. Yeah, so really trying to build that culture and that partnership with the PTA has been huge for us. Um, you know, and I, I believe in, in hard work and high expectations, but there has to be fun at school. And our students learn best when there's fun, they're engaged and they wanna be in the building and I want our school to feel that way. So anything I can do to make that a reality for our students and, and give the teachers the permission to have that as a reality in their classroom, I'm, I'm up for that. Words of wisdom from our <laughs> principal of Yellow Springs Elementary School. We are so glad that you survived your duct tape Thank adventure, you. <laughs> and I hope that the weather cooperates for you and Mrs. Swire on Thursday night as you're reading stories and sleeping on the roof. Yes. Thank you for having me and for letting me share about our wonderful community. And thank you for tweeting about it so that others can see and perhaps be inspired to try it at their school. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> thank you so much for joining us for Tweet of the Week. Again, 
Follow our principals on Twitter. You will learn about incredible things and fun things going on in our schools. We hope to see you next time for Tweet of the Week. Thank you.